Our topic today, turn fins. How to mount them, where to set them. What are we gonna do? Okay, so we're building our boat here, right? And uh, while we're building the boat, we'd better mount the fin. If we wait until later and we get everything all skinned up, it's hard to work right here, okay? Uh, if you're like me, and you probably aren't because I'm really weird about stuff, um, you're using these uh, little blind nuts, right? Pop right in the back here. Uh, I drilled one hole already, which is where we're gonna mount our turn fin bracket. But how are we gonna set this guy? Where's our spot? What's our angle? How do we figure all that out? Okay, a little bit of, isn't that beautiful? Man, uh, hang on, let me remove this real quick so we can talk, wrong size. I'm gonna leave it on. <laughs> Always be ready before you start the video. No retakes, this is it. Okay, um, uh, I like to have my turn fin at least in line with the edge of my ride pad, right? We're gonna build, we'll talk about G10 later too, but we're gonna build ride pads that'll be right here. Uh, and we'll talk about this also, not today, but we're gonna talk about how to set up these angles. Uh, as you can see, we're working on it, okay? Uh, I'll tell you how to do it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I want my fin in line with the edge of the pad or outboard, okay? I have this belief, I know some disagree, I, th I think uh, the East Coast way when it comes to rudders is to mount the rudder on the same side as the turn fin of the transom. I go the other way around because I want as much leverage, It's the way I think of it, on this fin as I can get. So that is why on our boat, if you're working with me, you've got your rudder mounted way over here. I don't like to do this thing. I think that's a little bit too crazy, but uh, I definitely mount it to the opposite side of the transom as my turn fin, okay? Um, but uh, so I want it out within reason. Uh, if I go out too far, the area where I can mount it becomes really narrow and I wind up making a really narrow bracket that will flex, all right? Here's an example of a, an eighth scale bracket that I made. Um, and it's, I'm making my uh, gasser one wider because the boat is heavier theoretically and I just think I need a little bit more structure. If I decide that it works awesome and I can get away with less, I'll cut it or I'll make a new one. Don't care, all right? Uh, so I wanna mount it outboard. I don't want this part in the way of the water. My, uh, oh, we're working on our non-trips here. Just rough this out right now, but it's gonna go on here. I don't want this guy out where it's gonna, you know, interrupt water flow. Partly why I taper this. Two reasons to taper this, okay, you ready? Number one, looks really cool. Number two is I don't want this flat surface hanging out here to catch water. Uh, number three, if I cut this off, that allows me to move this just a little bit further out without the, the point, you know, the corner, if you will, uh, if it were the other way, sticking out into the, uh, the flow of water. So this guy's gonna go out here pretty much as far as I can get away with. You'll see it's a little bit outboard of the ride pad. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, and I like that a lot. This is my compromise position, okay? I want a certain size bracket so I can't go out here. I want it out wide and I want it as low on the Sponson transom as I can get it. Why? Because if I build it, put it way up here, I need to make my fin longer and that will introduce more flex into the fin, right? So we're compromising everywhere here. I want it as low as I can get it, as far outboard as I can get it. And so this is the spot I've chosen, all right? First hole, that's an easy one, right? Drill a hole. Stick that booger in there. Oh, let me tell you a quick tip on these uh, inserts real quick. You get these guys, right? Look at the size of that tang there. You're gonna stick that in there in the hole that you drill and you're gonna put a screw in it and you're just gonna crank like crazy trying to dig these points all the way in there and it's gonna split the wood and it's pointless. Uh, get it? Pointless. Um, okay, anyway, we're gonna make this almost pointless, literally. Just hack them off. You, you need just enough there to keep the darn thing from spinning while you sink it into the wood. We're gonna go back and we're gonna epoxy over this anyway because we want it sealed, right? When we go to seal the boat, we're gonna seal all the way around this. So you're just gonna cut those guys off 
and you hope your motors aren't nearby where it's going to drop in the intake. Uh, so now it's really easy. Okay, when you go to sink it in, you're just going to pull it up and it's going to sink right in. Okay, so do that. Uh, all right, so we picked our, our first spot, right? Let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's not do that yet. I'll show you. We, we're going to want to know how to set it, right? Here you go. I've told you to buy one of these before. If you don't have one yet, shut the videos off right now. Don't come back till you get one. All right, so you got one of these. It's an angle finder. Uh, this works awesome because my boat doesn't have to be level here. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can, I can be checking right here and zero it. And I'm good to go, right? And now every measurement that I make uh, is showing me in relation to the surface I was just at. Okay? So we're looking at the ride surface of the boat. But we're looking at it this way because we're going to set our angle. So I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to zero it. Now, did we build a really good boat? Is this really level with the transom? I don't know. Give or take, oh, two tenths, maybe three. Makes me really happy. I am within one tenth of one degree. Did we really build a good boat? Is it the same on this side? I am within one tenth of one degree. That's a pretty good boat. Okay. Now, we're going to use this to set our angle because we know this is zero. This is our ride surface. We're not going off the inside here because what if you didn't get that dead straight? No, ride surface of the boat. Work off of this spot here. We're going to put this right here. Okay, and we want it to stay. I don't want to hold it, fiddle with it, and play with it. So we're going to clamp it. Eventually, we're going to clamp it. I want to be pretty straight with that bracket. Okay. And let me see, what do I do? Okay, so now I have this guy ready to go, right? I'm zeroed here. I'm clamped on the bracket. This is going to tell me the angle of that fin. I want this guy straight up and down in relation to where it mounts here. If you get that at an angle, it's going to lie to you. Okay, so this guy is straight up and down in relation to my bracket. And we're going to mount one screw. This would have been easier if I'd have had this off, but gosh, it looks great, doesn't it? Man, okay, here we go. We're gonna install the one. Trust me, that's what I'm doing. Okay, and look at that. We almost nailed 90 degrees. Ooh, we're close. 90.3. So this guy here is pretty much straight up and down right now. Right? What angle do you want? For me, I, I build adjustable brackets, okay? So I'm going to start in the neighborhood of 12 degrees and if I go to 12 degrees I'll have adjustability oh probably what have I got I think I've got like six degrees either way in this guy maybe it's eight uh, so anyway I'll, I'll be I'll be able to go down in the uh, in the six degree neighborhood and up close to 20 uh, that sort of thing so where where are we at right now Okay, I'm roughly 80, so I'm at 10 degrees off of 90, right? So there's 10 degrees. You understand? We're not, this thing isn't reading zero because we started here at zero. So here is 90. We go down to 80 is 10. If we went down to 70, that'd be 20, right? So what am I shooting for? Come on, think about it. Hurry, catch up. I'm looking for 78 maybe slightly less because 78 plus 12 equals 90. Now look at that, slightly less. Okay, I'm 77.7, so I am at 12.2 degrees angled in, okay? I have an inward tuck to my fin. Now I got a slot, how am I gonna figure out where the very middle is? I don't know, I'm gonna get it really close. But when I set, before I go run this boat, I will do this. So we're just gonna make a small mark near the middle of the slots, all right? I have no idea if you can see this. And I'm even gonna draw out the slot. Why? So that when I'm drilling my hole, I'll be able to tell if I'm kinda near the center of that slot. Okay, got it. Bear with me, if you're still here, you're a real boat builder. I know it's not real exciting. I know I don't use a lot of flash in my videos. 
Uh, this is for real builders. And I'm just trying to help. Okay, see what I got? Looked like I got pretty doggone close. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna grab a drill the size of this here and you're gonna go rip snorting through here with your cordless drill, right? No, dude, don't be an idiot. This is gonna blow up the wood. It's gonna bite in here and you're gonna break out big chunks, especially when it comes through the other side, it's gonna break big chunks out and you will feel like an idiot. How do I know this? I've done this. So you're gonna drill a uh, really small hole at first. Hang in there, I'm gonna show you something really cool. Okay, and I'm hitting pretty much where that was, pretty much the middle of the slot. It's gonna blow it up a little bit, but we're gonna go a whole lot bigger, so who cares? <laughs> you know what I did? I stuck my finger on the backside to keep it from breaking. Yeah, I'm drilling slow. Yes, I've drilled into my finger. Yes, I damaged it on the back. You'll heal. Okay, get one of these. This is a, this is a Dremel. It's just a really rough little burr guy thing. Gosh, these are cool. I use these all the time, all over the place on the boat. They're a great way to drill, if you will, but it doesn't blow anything up. Okay, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, get you one of those. That's how you're gonna make your holes. That's how you're gonna mount your bracket. Even if you don't have an adjustable bracket, you know, pick a spot. Maybe you want 12 degrees, maybe you want 14. I really think I'll probably wind up at about 14. That's where I usually hit. Uh, I don't use curved fins. I think curved fins are super, super uh, persnickety. You, boy, you better get it perfect. And if it bumps or moves or wiggles, uh, then it just does nothing but make the boat angry. So we got one hole done. We are ready to go. Okay, that's how you're gonna mount this guy. That's all I got for you. Hey, uh, wait, I have a little bit more. See these? Isn't that great? I got some zoomies I'm printing up now and these are the wrong scale. So these are now spares and the right ones are on their way uh, to uh, Michael. Uh, but with this in mind, I am not gonna be selling uh, 3D parts anymore. I will finish the orders that I have, but if you like them, I do still sell them, but not to you because it's uh, nothing personal. I love you, um, but uh, it's just a hassle. So I now sell these to uh, Rattlesnake RC who then sells them to you. Doesn't cost you anymore. He gives you a great deal on it and I sell them to him just dirt, dirt cheap, just trying to help you all out, okay? So I've got uh, some driver figures. I've got some Merlin stacks that I make. And uh, you know, if you come up with weird things like these zoomies once in a while, let me know when I'm in the mood, I'll build them for you, okay? Go to All RC, All RC One online. In fact, I'll put a link in down below, all right? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, say something nice, uh, give me your ideas in the messages and uh, we'll work on some more stuff. Meanwhile, you're done for the day. Turn the video off, go get to work. Talk to you later.